ಆಗ್ಲಿಷ್ಟು ಶಿಲ ಪ್ರೂಪಾದ ಆಗ್ಲಿಷ್ಟು ಗುರುಮದ ನಮೋ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಸ್ತಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನೀತಿ ನಾಮಿನಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವಿ ಗೌರವಾನಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚತ ದೇಶ ತಾರಿಣಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೇತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀ ವಶಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಡಿಯರ್ ಡಿಯೋಟೀಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಮೈ ಹಂಬಲ್ ವಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಸ್ ಟು ಯುವರ್ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗಿವ್ ದಿ ಬ್ಲೆಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಚೇತನ್ ಚಕ್ತ ಮೇತ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ನೇಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಲಿಬ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಾರ್ವಭೌಮ ಭಟ್ಟಾಚಾರ್ಯ so i will just invoke prayer what krishna das kaviraj goswami right in first two shlok and after that we will start my voice is clear here yes bro okay so first and second shloka of this chapter i will just read naumitam gaur chandram yah ಕೂತರ್ಕ ಕಾರ್ಕ ಸಾಸಯ ಸಾರ್ವಭೌಮಂ ಸರ್ವಭೂಮ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಭೂಮ ಆಚರ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಗೌರಚಂದ್ರ ಜಯ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಜಯ ದೇತ ಚಂದ್ರ ಜಯ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ಬೃಂದ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಗೌರಚಂದ್ರ ಜಯ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಜಯ ದೇತ ಚಂದ್ರ ಜಯ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ಬೃಂದ ಸೊ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ today from 150 i want to recap of this uh, session of this chapter actually so from here this chapter is start actually mm. and i will ask one question also so be ready for that so just i am recapping and then you have to answer this question so i will tell question first what is question question is why lord chaitanya give his mercy to sarvam bhattacharya question is how why lord chaitanya give his causeless mercy to sarvam bhattacharya so let us see what happened before because now he is giving mercy he is educating he is giving spiritual knowledge to sarvam bhattacharya so when lord chaitanya uh, started journey for jagannath puri so he came on the way and he told the story of sachi gopal and chichur gopina everything after that directly he told i will go alone and very fast he went to jagannath temple and jagannath temple he reached and when he saw the beauty of the lord jagannath in ecstasy he become unconscious when he become unconscious and directly he is coming in deity room then this uh, watch man they try to stop him after that they try to beat him but sarvam bhattachar was there sarvam bhattachar the main priest and very scholar person actually he is incarnation of brihaspati so he saw lord chaitanya beauty and then immediately he told no 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 nobody will touch him i will take him so with help of watchman he took lord chaitanya to his house and after that lying down he saw his nerves everything he saw it is unconscious whether he is alive or not alive 
Then he put in cotton rope here, this nostril, and then he found, no, he's alive. This is the ecstasy, this is a bhava. Because he is a scholar, so he can understand this is ecstasy of the Lord Chaitanya. Here after Nityanand Prabhu, Mukunda, Damoda, five people were along with uh, Lord Chaitanya. They are searching from Lord Chaitanya, where Lord Chaitanya gone this much fast. When he came to temple, then uh, some people are talking. When sannyasi came, he become unconscious and then they, they understood this is Lord Chaitanya. And then Gopinath Achari, he meet with Mukunda Dutta. And Mukunda, he told that, yes, Lord Chaitanya came. Now he came to Jagannath Puri. And now he is in a Sarvam Bhattachar house. When Nityanand Prabhu all gone there, Sarvam Bhattachar house, Sarvam Bhattachar welcome the devotee. And uh, he pay obeisances to Nityanand Prabhu. And after that, they did Kirtan. And with Kirtan, Lord Chaitanya he regained their consciousness. And Sarvam Bhattachar, he sent his son and he told, please go with them, the devotee, and uh, give arrangement to see the Lord Jagannath and bring the, the remnants of Lord Jagannath Prasadam. So, same he did, Lord Nityanand Prabhu also, when he saw Lord Jagannath, he also become almost unconscious, but devotee anyhow recovered him. Then, uh, they came back here. He saw Lord Chaitanya, and by seeing the Lord Chaitanya, his affinity, his love towards Lord Chaitanya is increasing. Why increasing that Lord Chaitanya? Telling why you this much me respecting, and this why this is happening. Then he's telling, Prakirta bini sanyasi dekhite sundar. Amar Bahu Priti Bade Inhara Upar. I don't know, but seeing your beauty and your humbleness, my affection for you is increasing. So when he brought Prasadam, Jagannath Prasadam, he wanted to serve Chaitan Mahaprabhu and devotee. Chaitan Mahaprabhu told, No, 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 I am sannyasi. So please give me only wild something. I will not take this much. But Sarvam Patachar, no, no, no. This is Jagannath Prasad, please take. Then Chaitan Mahaprabhu taken. After that, they arranged lodging for Chaitan Mahaprabhu and devotees. They told, this is the house you can keep. And Gopinath Achar, he told, go and uh, give him this house. Uh, take care of his arrangement. After that, Sharvam Pattachar asked from Gopinath Achar about Chaitan Mahaprabhu, who is this uh, sannyasi? So he told he is uh, from Nadia and Jagannath Mistra's son and his uh, grandfather is Nilambar Chakravarti, who is uh, your father, uh, classmate. So after that he understood, oh, he is my relative. He is like, like I am maternal uncle. So very nice. But in this uh, small age, 24 year age, he take renunciation. How will keep this one? And from where he took uh, sannyas? He told from Keso Bharti. Oh, Keso Bharti, it means he is a second class sannyasi. No problem. I will give him his first class sannyas, Saraswati or something. I will give. I can arrange. Then Gopinath Achar become somehow angry. He told, oh, he is the supreme personality of Godhead. For him, it is not required anything. He is above this uh, or this reputation or something. And he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Then Sarvam Bhattachar told, no, no. As per his scripture, in Kali Yuga, there is no Supreme Personality of Godhead. Then Gopinath Acharya, he quoted from Mahabharata, from Srimad Bhagavatam, and he told, no, no, he is Supreme Personality of Godhead. Then uh, he is telling, it is a three yuga. Kali Yuga actually, no incarnation of Lord. How you are telling that he is a supreme personality of God? Then very important uh, thing he is telling uh, Gopinath Acharya. Anuman pramana nahe ishwar tattva jane kripa bina ishwar ke haan nahi jane 
without the mercy of the supreme lord nobody can understand the supreme lord then when he become little bit angry then sarvam attachari smiled and he told ishtagosi bichar kari na kari haros shastra drisht kahi kichu na lihay dos he telling just we are talking about scripture and this please don't be angry then uh, gopinath acharya left and like this uh, after discussion then uh, he called one day he told chetan mahaprabhu please bring here i want to see him i want to teach him vedanta then when he came he told lord chetanya you are a young sanyasi how you can keep your vow of sanyas of celibacy it is very difficult so i will give you vedanta knowledge so for seven days he start vedanta explaining explaining and this is one very beautiful thing which you can see in this picture background that he put on elevated seat lord chaitanya even though he was giving lesson from vedanta but due to sanyasa he is giving respect he is keep lord chaitanya on the upper side and on the floor he sit down floor sit down and he start uh, teaching seven days after seven days he told nothing he is telling just keeping quiet what happened whether he is understanding or not understand then lord chaitanya told okay actually you ordered me that's why i am listening but what you are telling that uh, cannot okay if you cannot understand you should ask then why you are not asking he is telling vedanta whatever explanation it is a clear no explanation required what your explanation is like this you are keeping cloud before sun you want to keep cloud before sun sun already clear why because of your explanation because of cloud actually you are uh, not expressing the exact thing what sila bias there so then chetan mahaprabhu giving one example very nice example of cow dung and corn cell he told corn cell is a bone but as a per vedic scripture corn cell is very pious we are using in the arti and cow dung also it is a very pious both is very pious but actually stool of any animal even man also it is a not austere so that contradiction is there but we have to follow whatever vedic scripture is telling after that he start explaining vedam sutra chetan mahaprabhu that section we will take now question you can give answer by raising your hand why sarvam bhattachar got mercy of the lord chetanya what service he did Hmm. So many reasons are there. We can tell any reason. <clears throat> Anyone can tell why Lord Chaitanya gave special mercy to Sarvam Bhattacharya? Why he was so pleased with Sarvam Bhattacharya? <clears throat> Anyone can tell. That's why I given brief answer. Hare Krishna, Prabhu Ji. Hare Krishna. Dhanu Pradam Prabhu. Dhanu Pradam. Prabhu Ji, actually, when Mahaprabhu became senseless, mm -hmm. and the watchmen inside the temple, they wanted mm -hmm. to beat him. Mm -hmm. Yes. But uh, Sarvam Bhattacharya stopped them, and yes. he brought the brought Mahaprabhu to his house. Yes, and took care of took care of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mm -hmm. So by that he got the mercy of the Lord already. Correct, hundred percent correct. Yes, that is the one reason that he protect from watchman. He brought to his house and is taking care. Yes, very nice. Any other reason? Hundred percent correct. Like this, anything more he did? Almost he told something more. Same in the past time it is there. Same past time you can catch this point. What Bir Krishna Prabhu told, 
same like anything more he did for Lord Chaitanya, from which he is very worshipped. Because when Gopinath Acharya returned back with Mukundatta and... Hare Krishna Prabhu. Yes, yes. I, I will try Prabhu, I will try. Yes, Prabhu Ji, uh, 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 Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came uh, to give the uh, Bhagavat Nama to everyone. Mm -hmm. So, yes. so uh, Sarvabham Bhattacharya, uh, though he is a Mayavadi, but he was a leader of the so many uh, Mayavadis. Okay. So, so if the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will uh, give this uh, real education to him, mm -hmm. then he will he will spread these things to the so many people. Mm -hmm. That is my understanding, Prabhu Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna. Okay, it is okay, but uh, without devotional service, as Gopinath Acharya told that nobody can get the mercy of the Lord. So he did some service actually. Whatever it, uh, told just now, Birkishan Prabhu. Other service, anything he told? He did. Okay. So one region, uh, he protect Lord from watchmen. Second region, he took him to his house and take care. Third region, he take care of his devotees. His devotees also he take care by facilitating darshan and prasad. Fourth region, he took dust from lotus feet and gave prasad. He took dust from lotus feet of Lord Chaitanya. He heard Hari Katha from devotees. He asked about who is this man. Means he want to learn about Lord Chaitanya. Who is this man? Then make relationship and want to be servant of the Lord. He make relations. Oh, father relations. So he love his Oh, I should take care. He is a young man. Maybe he will not uh, keep his woe. So I should give some Vedanta. Give arrangement to stay and attracted by his beauty. When he saw his beauty, he was so much attracted. And by humility, he sit on the floor. So that's why Lord Chaitanya telling when Gopinath Acharya and Mukundan complain that this man is not good. He is not understanding you are the Supreme Lord of the then Lord Chaitanya told, no, 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 he's very kind to me, he's very merciful to me, he's very serviceful to me. So because of this, Lord Chaitanya wants to give him. There is one more reason, Prabhu, from uh, yes. today's, uh, uh, your uh, introduction. Mm -hmm. it is, uh, you can say it is above all these reasons that uh, yes. when Lord Nityan Prabhu has come to his house, he paid obeisances mm -hmm. to Lord Nityananda. Yeah, that also. So the, he is, uh, Nityananda is... Uh, original spiritual master yes so since uh, he uh, directly indirectly he has taken shelter by just paid obeisances to him so right. chetma prabhu must be pleased that uh, he has taken shelter of a spiritual master so he revealed correct correct, correct. yes 100 percent yes that also one reason i miss yes nityanand prabhu also he pay obeisance and take mercy so that's why he also become Nityanan Prabhu. Without Nityanan Prabhu mercy, nobody can get Chaitanya Mahaprabhu mercy. That is also one point. So, like this, so many points is there. And uh, in this uh, session itself, Lord Chaitanya is telling, I came here, Jagannath Puri, for you. So, in one past time is there, just uh, two minutes, I will tell. When Pratap Rudra, Pratap Rudra want to meet with uh, Lord Chaitanya, then... Uh, Always Lord Chaitanya don't want to meet with Pratapuru because he was a king. When uh, from South India he came back uh, to again Jagannath Puri, then he understood in Katak, he heard, oh, Lord Chaitanya came. Then immediately he want to come and see the Lord. But again he thought, oh, Lord will not give me darshan. What to do? Then he asked with Sarvam Vattachar. Sarvam Vattachar, okay, told devotees, they discussed. They told one thing you can do. When Lord is in ecstasy, he is not taking care about external thing. Means he is totally forget who is there, who is not there. So that time you change your cloth and you be, be there and you can see Lord beauty. You can see no problem. That time he will not uh, see that you are there. Then same uh, King uh, Pratap Rudra did, and he saw that ecstasy mood. Ecstasy mood, what happened? This from his eyes, this flowing, water was flowing like Ganga. 
and water coming from ear, water coming from nose, water coming from mouth. So by seeing this, somehow Pratap Rudra become little, he is attracted, but he is thinking water coming, this coming. So after that, when he went for sleep, then in dream, Lord Jagannath came. And Lord Jagannath came and he become as a sannyasi. And after that, he is dancing and uh, Pratap Rudra is seeing in dream. After that, he is a ecstasy. Again, same thing he is seeing. Lord Jagannath is doing. Then immediately he want to touch his lotus feet. He is thinking it is Jagannath. That time then Jagannath is coming out. No, 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 you cannot touch my lotus feet because your thinking is not pure. Today I dance, but you cannot understand. Then Pratap Rudh, he told very nice thing, which is related with here. He told, I came Jagannath Puri for only three person. One for you, one for Sarvam Bhattachar, or one for Ramarandai. I want to give you mercy, all three. That's why I came to Jagannath Puri. So you will see later that same Sarvam Bhattachar will tell, okay, you are going South India, you can meet with Ramarandai. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu telling, okay, you can leave everything and you can come to Jagannath Puri. So actually three person, as per his scripture, Lord Chaitanya came to Jagannath Puri to give his mercy. One more reason is there that later verses it will come that why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu given mercy to Sarvam Bhattacha. He told, uh, Lord Chaitanya himself, he told, he told you are relative of my devotee. This is very important. When we have some relation with devotee, then Lord Krishna, Lord Chaitanya is also merciful. Sarvam Bhattachar is a brother-in-law. Brother-in-law is Gopinath Acharya. So because of Gopinath Acharya, he is telling, I have given you mercy. Later, again, we will see Sarvam Bhattachar when he is calling him for prasadam. And then his son-in-law, Amok, he criticized Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He told this much sannyasi, he is taking this much, this is not good. Then he become very sorrowful. He told, okay, my son-in-law should die and curse his mother, Sati mother. But after that, also Lord Chaitanya given mercy to Amog. Why he given Amog? Because he is telling same, because you is related with my devotee Sarvam Bhattacha. So this is also very important reason. If we are connected with our Sicha Guru, our Guru, who is a pure devotee of the Lord, and if our pure devotee is pleased with us anyhow, or anyhow we make some relation with them, then also we can get the Lord mercy. Now we will start from 150. Now Chetan Mahaprabhu explaining Vedan Sutra with right pursuit. Uh, you can see, not is hearing. Yes, bro. So I'll start. Apaniya pada sruti barje prakirte pani charana puna kahe sigra chale tore sarugrahan. The Vedic apani pad, apani pad. Mantra rejects material hands and legs. At it is state that the Lord goes very fast and accept everything offered to him. Actually, in Veda, it is telling Apanipada. Next verse, it will come. But actually, it is telling Apani. Pani means hand. Apada means leg. There is no leg and there is no hand. But actually, there is no leg hand means material hands, legs not there. That is meaning of Veda. Ateva Shruti Kahe Brahma Savise Mukhe Chari Lachanate Mone Nirvise. All these mantras confirm that absolute truth is personal, but the Mayavadi throwing away the direct meaning interpret the absolute truth as impersonal. So it is clear that Lord is a person, but they are thinking it is a impersonal. Why they are thinking? Because they are interpreting direct meaning, they are 
not eating. Now this verse is coming. And mentioned in Swata Upanishad states, Apani Pado Javano Grahita Pasyati Achachu Sasvinoti Akarna Saveti Vedyam Nache Tasyati Veta Tam Ahur Agriyam Purusham Mahantam. He is telling Apani Pado. There is no leg, there is no hand. Pasyati Achachu. There is no eyes. Achachu. Sasranoti Akarna, there is no ear. But they are not understanding the last word, Pursam Mahantam. Shla Prabhupada here wrote in purport. Pursam, Pursam means person. Actually, he is a person. He, but he has no material eyes, he has no material ears, he has no material leg, material. This is actually meaning. It is not meaning that he has no leg, no man. Once uh, I remember this uh, Radha Govind Nath Maharaj uh, was telling he was at airport, some mid Middle East. So Middle East somebody was praying in the airport. So after uh, praying, uh, he came back and some discussion started with Radha Govind Maharaj. So he told you are um, everything you are thinking, Lord, you are keeping this earth also, Lord. Then stone also lard. This is not actually lard is impersonal. Lard has nothing is there. Then uh, Radha Govind Maharaj very nicely he told. Me, Just now you prayed with lard. You have praying you something tell Allah Akbar or whatever. But uh, how lard listen? Uh, do you believe that lard listen? You're telling yes yes lard listen. Lard listen it means he has ear. Without ear how he can listen? You pay obeisance, it means he is seeing, it means he has eyes. So like this, very nicely he explained with uh, this uh, 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 Muslim that, uh, and after that he considered, yes. And he told everything we are not considering Lord. Any stone we are not considering Lord. We are prana pratishtha we are doing, we are putting, after that we are serving. After that, he, he see, you see, I keep my feet on this uh, earth. I'm not feeling this now. So it is not like this. So just I remember, so I want to share with you. Sometime this misunderstanding, misunderstanding, understanding is there with the Nirakar and Shaka. So Aishwarya Paramananda Purnananda Vigraha Yanhar Hema Bhagavate Tumi Kaha Nirakar are you describing as formless that supreme personality of Godhead, whose transcendental form is complete with six transcendental absolutes? He's telling you are describing. Sometimes Chaitanya Mahaprabhu become angry also. They are telling, I have no hand, I have no leg, I have no eyes. What is this? He become too much angry. And really it is a great offense towards the Lord. If I am telling that Lord has no leg, no leg. How it can possible if he is giving us leg? How it is possible if he is giving eyes to us? How it is possible he is giving ear to him? He don't have. How it is possible when we are person, then who is making us person, he will be not person. It is not possible at all. If someone has given 10,000 rupees to me, it means he has more than that. Very simple logic. If he can make us like human being, then why Lord cannot be human being? He can be anything. He can be tortoise, he can be fish, he can be any form he can take. Nobody can tell, no, 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 you are impersonal, you cannot be human being. Hmm? It means he is not omnipotent. He can be anything. He can be impersonal also. With Brahma Jyoti, he can pervade everywhere. But this Philosophy, they don't understand. Why don't understand? That also it will come in the verse. So here in the purport it is written, Srila Prabhupada, Parasi Shakti Bivideva Sruti. He has the multi potency. So Bhavikatina Shakti Yeta Brahme Hai. 
निह शक्ति का करी तन रे कर निश्चय द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हैड हैज थ्री प्राइमरी पोटेंसी आर यू ट्राइंग टू प्रूव दैट ही हैज नो पोटेंसी श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु नाउ कोट्स फोर वर्सेस फ्रॉम द विष्णु पुराण एक्सप्लेन द डिफरेंट पोटेंसी ऑफ द लॉर्ड नाउ फोर वर्सेस ही विल कोट फ्रॉम विष्णु पुराण दैट वी विल रीड विष्णु शक्ति पराप्रोक्ता क्षेत्र ज्ञान के तथा परा विद्या कर्म संजेते तृतीय शक्ति इष्यते द इंटरनल पोटेंसी ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड विष्णु इज स्पिरिचुअल एज वेरीफाइड बाय द शास्त्र देयर इज एन अदर स्पिरिचुअल पोटेंसी नोन एज क्षेत्रज्ञा आर द लिविंग एंटिटी द थर्ड पोटेंसी which is a known as nissens makes the living entity godless and fills him with fruitive activity so now lord chaitanya is disclosing by the vishnu puran that the lord has actually three types of potency internal potency external potency that is nissens and marginal potency that is a living entity and why uh, this uh, living entity actually spiritual potency but they forget the potency of the lord because of nissens because of avidya ye chhetragya shakti sa vesitita nip sarvaga samsara tapan akhilan apnoti yatra santana tanatana O King, the Chetrak Sakti is the living entity. Although he has the facility to live in either the material or spiritual world, he suffers the threefold miseries of material existence because he is influenced by the Avidya potency, which covers his constitutional position. So this is very important. He suffers. Why we are suffering? He suffer. He means who? suffer the three fold misery because he is influenced by the avidya because we are covered by avidya sharira avidya jal jade indriya tahe ka jiva phele kishan sthate vishay sagare we are thrown in the, the this material world vishay sagar so which covers the our constitutional position so that we can forget so we are the part and parcel of the lord we are the spiritual potency we are the soul spirit soul everything we are forgetting we are thinking we are the body and we are acting on the bodily platform now next shlok from vishnu puran taya tirtha ta cha shakti kshetragya samidyata sarva bhuteshi gopala taratamya ne vartate this living entity covered by the influence of nissens exists in different forms in the material condition o oh, king he is thus professionally professionally freed from the influence of material energy to a greater or lesser degree so due to avidya we are taking so much different form 84 lakhs species we are taking some are less covered some are too much covered like trees their their consciousness is too much covered animals too much covered but in the human form of life our consciousness is somehow awakened and we can awake full also with association of beauty with reading scripture and following the path which is given by our spiritual master then slowly slowly we can awaken that's why this uh, our institute what is called international society for krishna consciousness this krishna consciousness we have to develop our krishna consciousness by doing sadhana bhakti when we understand then we can understand our, our real position so in human form it is easily possible other form it is not possible easily because too much it is influenced by avidya now he is talking about other energy haladhani sandhani samvit tvai 
एक सर्व संश्रे हलादा ताप करी मिस्त्र त्वी न गुण वर्जित द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड इज सच्चिदानंद विग्रह दिस मीन्स दैट ही ओरिजिनली हैज थ्री पोटेंसी द प्लीजर पोटेंसी द पोटेंसी ऑफ इटर्निटी एंड द पोटेंसी ऑफ नॉलेज टूगेदर these are called the chit potency and they are present in full in the supreme law for the living entities who are part and parcel of the lord the pleasure potency in the material world is sometime displeasing and sometime mixed this is not the case with the supreme personality of godhead because he is not under the influence of the material energy or its mode so sometime we are pleasing means sometime we are happy sometime we are unhappy sometime mixed but it is a not case with the supreme lord when supreme lord coming to this uh, material world then he is always happy even in kuru kshetra also supreme lord happy always he is smiling we never saw any photo anywhere when lord is weeping only weeping that is also leela due to yog maya like damodar leela he start weeping oh he yeah, start tears also coming hmm? that is also one type of special leela but actually he is not unhappy he is only bound by the love of the devotee sometime he is angry also but also because of devotee when devotee is suppressed by this non devotee asura then also lord become unhappy and become angry also arjuna want to <coughs> leave duryodhana and his army okay no problem i will not fight but lord krishna to no 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 i will not allow him they must be killed if you not kill already i have killed because they have took vishnu offense drupti so that's why he was not happy but actually in transcendental level the in leela it looks like lord is not happy but lord is always happy never time that lord is weeping or something because he can do whatever he want so how he can be unhappy we are unhappy because whatever we want we cannot do that's why we are unhappy we want to become prime minister but i cannot so how will become prime minister but for krishna it is a very very easy he can do whatever he want sachidanand maya hai ishwar swarup tin anse chit sakti hai tin roop the supreme personality of god is in original form is full of eternity knowledge and bliss the spiritual potency in this three portion sat chit anand assumes three different form so as uh, brahma sangita brahma ji telling ishwara parama krishna sachidanand vigraha sachidanand vigraha sat chit anand so that chetan mahaprabhu here telling that sat chit anand there are three portion of eternity knowledge and bliss so here uh, in the last paragraph shila prabhupad wrote from the shastra we understand the nature of the supreme personality of godhead is the sum total of eternity bliss and knowledge as stated in verse 154 the supreme personality of godhead the reservoir of all potency and his potency are all spiritual so he is all eternal all bliss all knowledge means he is full of knowledge he is full of bliss he is full of it full Hundred percent. Anand amse haladni sad amse sandhini chit amse samvide yare gyan kari mani. The three portion of the spiritual potency are called haladni, the bliss portion; sandhini, the eternity portion; and samvide. the knowledge portion we accept knowledge of the deeds as full knowledge of the supreme personality of godhead so there are three portion haladni shakti sandhini shakti and samvid haladni shakti what dealing this is a bliss portion sandhini due to sandhini eternity and due to samviti 
knowledge. To acquire knowledge of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, one must take shelter of the Samvit potency. Srila Prabhupada writing, if you want to know about the Lord, that potency, Samvit potency, by this we can understand about the Lord. Antaranga chitta sakti, tatastha jiva sakti, bahiranga maya tine kare premo bhakti. This is very interesting actually. Lika in kare premo bhakti. The spiritual potency of the Supreme Personality of Godhead also appears in three phases internal, marginal, and external. These, all, these are all engaged in his devotional service in love. Okay, internal potency is engaged in devotional service. External potency, Maya Devi also, Yoga Maya, Mahamaya, both are engaged in devotional service. But marginal potency, how it is doing devotional service in love? How it is? Because it is written, all three are doing Prema Bhakti. Teen Kare Prema Bhakti. Hmm? This is question mark. Okay, internal potency doing, following the Lord, whatever Lord telling. External potency also following the Lord, whatever Lord. He is just obeying the order. <clears throat> but as us, marginal potency, whether we are doing a really loving service, devotional service to the Lord. Hmm? Prabhuji, marginal potency, jivas, hmm. by constitutionally, they are servants, eternal servants. Yes. But uh, because of the free will, we are choosing not to do, but otherwise, constitutionally, yes, we are uh, right. eternally, we are doing this uh, uh, devotional service. Sometimes right. we cover and uh, we forget or we decide not to do by using misusing our free will. Misusing free will, correct. That's why he written. And in uh, purport also, Srila Prabhupada, as uh, His Grace Ramanantina approved, because of free will, actually we are supposed to serve with love to the Lord. As per our constitutional we have to do prema bhakti, but anyhow we are misusing our free will. This is a dream. Krishna bahir mukh jiv bhogavan cha kare nikatatre maya jhapati adhare. Because <clears throat> we want to bhog, we want to enjoy sense gratification, we want to please ourselves without pleasing the Lord. That is our mistake actually. We can please ourselves very easily by pleasing the Lord. But we are doing in the reverse world. What we are doing? We want to please ourselves without pleasing the Lord. That is actually a problem. If we please the Lord, automatically we will be pleased by giving the example of mirror. If we decorate the Lord, <clears throat> automatically we will get that blissness. But this is a problem with us jiva. It is a very fortunate and it is a great mercy of Srila Prabhupada, it is a great mercy of our Sitcha Guru that we came to this moment and at least we can understand our position. We are serving, not serving, okay, but at least we can understand that we are the eternal servant of the Lord. Jive Sorupe Hoye Krishna Nitya Das. Actually, it is our duty to serve the Lord. <coughs> we are how much serving, that is other thing, but at least <clears throat> in this moment, we are knowing, but many people who are not knowing also, like impersonal, they are also not knowing. They are telling, okay, after some time, we will also become Narayana. Then, when we become Narayana, there is no need to serve. There is no difference. When Krishna coming, he is also in Maya. That's why they are Mayavadi. They don't understand the difference between the Lord and the living entity. Lord is Lord, living entity is living entity. All three, this Sakti, they have to serve the Lord. Yoga Maya also has to serve the Lord. Mahamaya also has to serve the Lord. And we also have to serve the Lord. But due to our free will, we are not serving the Lord. 
and since we are not serving the lord then lord another potency that is external potency that is giving punishment to us otherwise we can be always blissful there is no problem for devotee actually only problem for non devotee why non devotee problem because they are against the rule and regulation made by the lord they are always trying to make their own rule regulation now the scientific innovation they want to be happy their own way they don't want to follow this vedic injection they don't want to keep cow they don't want to keep bull nothing tractor so many new new invention coming and we are getting more disease we are polluting our environment everything going in reverse way but with modern scientists they are thinking we are progressing but we are not progressing we are losing our life we are losing our age we are losing our happiness everything we are losing only one reason because we are not following our vedic wisdom our vedic wisdom is simple living and high thinking what is meaning of simple living high thinking whatever requirement to keep soul and body together that is only our requirement otherwise we have to do only krishna katha we have to only hear shravanam krishna katha and be blissful always mat chit madgat prana bodhayanta cha parasparam lord krishna telling bhagavad gita my devotee is always tusyanti cha ramanti cha always they are happy how they are happy they are getting 1 crore rupees no 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 just by discussing the past time as we are discussing chaitanya charitamrit past time will be we were blissful so many past times are there even ananta says he is discussing still past time still not end this is endless past time still past time going on in so many universe so there is no end and even same past time if you repeatedly heard also we cannot understand fully if you heard same damodar leela one time two time three time four time five time every time you will feel something more interesting because our acharya are explaining one one past time of the lord in different different way and by this seeing the supremacy of the lord seeing this greatness of the lord we can be blissful lord is great great vashila prabhupa telling how much love god is great that we have to understand that's why bhagavatam given creation sometimes thinking bhagavatam why this much detail given in creation creation given to understand only lord is so great so great so great then surrender mood will come oh lord is so great so we have to surrender there is no other way there is no other way there is no other way then only we will surrender then we will come to see chastikam last shlok mat prana nathas tu sa eva na para you are my lord no other way you are my lord whether asilas va padratam pinashtam whether you embrace me or you give me punishment but still you are my lord we cannot go anywhere so this understanding will come after reading bhagavad gita bhagavatam everywhere actually one thing is there every all scripture that we should understand that lord krishna is the supreme nobody can surpass him nobody can surpass him whether we can get the boon from brahma like hrnakasupu we can be very strong like ravana but lord can kill at any moment without any much effort simply if he touch people can kill simply by his wish people can kill simply by his he can change our fate also our destiny also so that faith should be there if that faith is there that uh, consciousness is there then simply we will surrender which bhagavad gita last shloka uh, in last chapter is telling sarv dharma padityate maam ekam sharanam bhaja actually this is the this mood should come 
after reading this all past time that anyhow we have to surrender. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So now six minutes is there. So any question or anything? I think I took up to 160, correct? Yes, 160. Yes, Prabhuji Mataji, any comments, any question? Thank you very much for patiently listening. Hare Krishna devotees, please make use of uh, Prabhu's rare presence to ask questions. Well, everything is crystal clear. Huh? Crystal clear. <laughs> crystal clear. The way you explained. <laughs> yeah, they, mm, yes. Actually, are all elevated duty. Okay. It is good. We are understanding. No question, no doubt. It is good, actually. So, anything uh, Prabhu, you want to add? Ramanand Prabhu? Prabhu what is yeah. uh, uh, nothing, nothing to add? Actually, hmm. the Three uh, energies of the Lord, as you are explaining. Mm. Uh, actually, uh, sometime back, uh, if you remember, there is one seminar we took, uh, we discussed uh, about the three energies of the Lord, mm. how yeah. each energy helps a devotee to surrender to the Lord. Mm. So, each has got its own uh, potency, mm. its own uh, purpose, its own way to make uh, a living entity, marginal energy, to surrender to the Lord. Mm -hmm. so, there is nothing wrong. Thank you very much. Uh, any, any other Mataji, Prabhuji, Shamsundar Prabhuji, can you add anything? Because I will also get enlightened. Shamsundar Prabhu is there? Here. Yes, I saw Shamsundar uh, Prabhu. Shamsundar Prabhu? Can you please open your lotus mouth? Oh, show your is, lotus yes. face. Nice Siksha It is great fortune for me. Is there? Bestow your mercy upon your Siksha disciple. Yes, yes, yes. He is always giving causeless mercy. <laughs> oh, can I unmute your mic, Prabhu? Uh, Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Mahalaya Mocha Tarpanam. Tarpanam going on. So ah, I am the okay. temple. Okay, okay. I am the okay, temple. Okay. <clears throat> fine, fine, bro. Carry on. Okay, no, no problem. Uh, just, uh, just I, I don't want to miss the nectar in class from Shivanath Ramdas. So that's why I'm parallelly I'm joining this uh, class yeah, also. Mm, just one minute to hold on. Be in the line. I'll show the Radha Grizari uh, darshan. Uh, yes, yes, yes. It's only one minute. So first, we get the. Uh, uh, is it possible to see everybody? Are you yes, sir. I can see Prabhu. You, you can change camera maybe. Uh -huh, yes, yes. One okay. second, Prabhu. I'll uh, make a uh, high spotlight. Yeah. 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 One more set available, one more Jagannath set also available. But uh, I am thinking where we have to hand over the Jagannath, waiting for some, some uh, Yatra Mandir. So, Prabhuji, Ramananda Kanya Prabhu, keep in mind when Jagannath star is there. So, where we are to, where we are to hand over? Long time waiting here. I am thinking very gigantic Jagannath. So, I want to hand over to some Yatra. Get the snuff lot, uh, she should rather agree. Hari, yeah, she should rather agree. Hari, yeah, 
so i will to see everybody yes yes yes, yes prabhuji so merciful you are prabhuji giving that from jagannath will they should have given that oh very nice that beautiful prabhu this is which temple so sorry this is a nearby our house uh, radha giridhar temple name itself radha giridhar temple okay Damodar also there, Yeshua Damodar. Yeah, already <laughs> manifesting in advance. Hari Bol, Hari Bol, thank you so much for your... Thank you Prabhu, thanks for your kind message, thanks for Shwe, having a Shwe in Darshan. Thank you Prabhu, we will meet uh, next week. Thank you, thank you Shwana Pramdas, wonderful literary in class. Thank you, so, thank you. Unable to listen completely, I'll uh, start listening from recording. Thank you, Prabhuji. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So, Srinath Prabhu, you can conclude the session. Okay, Prabhu. Chaitanya Chaitanya Amrita Granth Raj Ki Jai, Shila Prabhupad Ki Jai, Guru Maharaj Ki Jai. We'll take blessing from you. One chat, I'll put a reverse check, a passive way with your party, Tarman, Pawni, Vishnu, 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 and then the court of Vishnu, then the Yashila Prabhupad, the Yagur Maharaj, 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 So nice to explain. Thank you very much, all the devotees, for attending. And next week, uh, Hargrave Radha Mataji will continue from verse one sixty one onwards. Yes. Yeah.